Hello there and welcome to Vermin Hunters TV with me, Side Pitway. Today on the show we're going to have a shoot-off, something different, uh, something I've not done before. Uh, and the shoot-off is between my laminate 177 HW100, uh, which shoots Bisley Magnums as its preferred pellet, preferred pellet uh, and my 177 Brocock Compacto, which also shoots a preferred Bisley Magnum pellet. So what I'm going to do, off camera I'm going to zero them both. Brocock Compacto is zeroed at 28 meters and my uh, Vira HW100 laminate is zeroed at 27 meters. Once I've got them off, on, smack on, and at that range these put pellet through the same hole without making the pellet any bigger once you've zeroed them correctly. I'm going to put a target out and I've looked on both scope, cap, scope caps and at four and a half mil dots on them both it just happens to be 60 meters or 66 yards so I'm going to lay the target at 66 yards uh, and we're going to do a shoot off so we're going to do five shots first of all from the HW100 laminate uh, and then five shots from the Compato uh, and see basically how they both do there is a bit of a breeze today uh, I don't know if you can hear it on the camera but the trees are moving in the weeds so whatever results I get won't be the best results that I could have probably got on a still day but they should still be good because we're going to go down the side of the chicken pen so uh, it should eliminate some of the wind but as the pellet goes down on its trajectory and it gets uh, more to the open part of the wood on the left that's when uh, it'll be affected a little bit but I've been saying for a while now that I've got a really good Brocock Compato uh, and I've been saying for a while that it's as accurate as this HW100 alright, uh, bearing in mind there's this uh, couple of hundred pound price difference between both rifles uh, and a few, a few people have raised an eyebrow as if you know I'm just trying to do the old sponsorship thing and uh, basically try and get some money for Brocock I'd just like to say that basically since Adam Woods left Brocock which is I don't know four or five maybe six months ago now we haven't had anything to do with Brocock so uh, we're not really sponsored by Brocock the sponsorship really came from Brocock via Adam uh, they've not been in contact with us they don't have anything to do with us so uh, this is a totally unbiased thing they're both my rifles uh, and it's not a thing to I'm trying to sell more rifles of each, it's just to show people that when I've been saying that this is just as accurate as this, uh, that I haven't been uh, saying it just for, you know, just to make money. It, it is a true fact. So here are the two gladiators, we'll I'll be fighting it out today then. So, you can see my camo patterned laminate HW100 and my standard Brocock Compato. I'd just like to say both these rifles are not tuned. Uh, they're both standard straight out of the box. Right, I'm going to zoom into 66 yards. And you can probably see the breeze down there. It's causing havoc. You see the uh, weeds moving and the makeshift windsock with a bit of plastic. That's quite uh, solid. It's not flexible plastic and that's moving around so the groups aren't going to be as tight as I'm capable of shooting in still conditions but they'll give me some idea and it's fair for both rifles anyway so uh, I'll just sort out my parallax and we do five shots and it should be four and a half mil dots drop so it's a good chance for me to uh, check my calibration was just over four and a half mil dots, just. That one went in the exact same hole. Four. 
five. That's five. I think four in a really tight group uh, and one just a little bit higher. But there is a wind blowing down there and the actual wind is coming over the back of me. You can see from the plastic when it moves actually straight down. So uh, the four low ones are just over four and a half mil dots. Uh, they're getting slightly pushed down by the breeze and the, the one what's higher is the actual correct uh, point of impact which is on four and a half mil dots. Right here we are then down at the target end. Uh, four shots there and one there. That's actually the correct point of impact as I said. They're slightly being blown down by the breeze. Uh, so let's have a look. Here's a 5p. So less for the rip, all four shots there uh, are under the, the 5p, <laughs> which is uh, pretty staggering for 66 yards or 60 meters. And then you've got a gap of, well, the hole was actually there, look. The hole was just there. So you, you've got a gap of round about the width of the pen. And that's just to do wind, so really accurate and it just goes to show why you can shoot vermin uh, at longer ranges when you've done your calibration and using a range finder uh, and it's you know still conditions this is breezy and I'm getting this sort of group without no breeze and that them four there would probably be in it within this area here as well with the HW100 so very accurate rifle uh, and as I've already said uh, in the opening it's a uh, standard straight out the box Right, I'm going to walk up to the actual shooting platform and hopefully uh, the camera, not that, because that's the uh, blowers, but when I come up here, hopefully you'll hear the wind. It is a lot stronger, Ooh. especially now that I've come into the open part of this wood here, look, where the pellet's going by, it's, uh, it's busy. Really breezy. We've still got quite a way yet to walk to walk up. The way the HW100 is, where I've just shot it from. Hang on. With its camo pattern I did. Okay, it's the turn of the Brocock Compato now. Shooting the same Bisley Magnums. 66 yards. Just load the magazine. Set the parallax. This one should also be four and a half mil dots of old over. It's a different reticle. I think that's three, and they're almost touching, if I'm looking at this right. Four, four really tight. Five shots. They look pretty good, and they're in the same breeze as the HW100. So we're gonna have a look. Right, down at the target end then, uh, and there's the five shots from the Compato at 66 yards uh, and in, in a breeze as you saw. <laughs> so, pity about that one there, that would have been here, that would have been all under a 5p I reckon. But, you can see there, four of them are under a 5p. So, 66 yards, <laughs> that's a long way, 60 metres. Uh, it's another 11 yards further than the maximum range in FT. Uh, you can see this compactor of mine, I, like I say, it's a good one. Uh, I always say it's a good one. Uh, 
it produces these sort of results and you know you could use that for anything really. Uh, I'm not sure the diameter of a 2p but uh, all five shots uh, are actually under the 2p there's only the paper tear you could probably see on the edge if I uh, come in yeah they're all under so I'll measure that when I get home Right, here's the side-by-side -side comparison then. So, first up was the HW100, followed by the Brocock. Uh, four shots and one, and five shots all in a smaller group. So, you've got four shots there, covered by a 5P, and then you've got a pen's width. And then you've got four shots there, covered by the 5P, and less than a pen's width. Uh, yeah, we can't say that the wind's always the same between both groups so it might have been slightly a little bit stronger here especially when it blew the pellets down here uh, but you can get the impression that the Compato uh, this group actually is uh, the Compato won this test if you're going just on these results but like I say we can't always judge the, the wind or say the wind was the exact same but it goes to show that when I say the Compato is just as accurate as the HW100 it definitely is and that's a fair test that is uh, and on this particular occasion, the Compato won. So there's a bit of an eye opener for people. Right, now we've done the testing. Uh, I'm going to do a bit of fun, have a bit of fun. So I've got found these in the skip. I don't know what they are. They're some sort of plastic bolt. Uh, I've got three of them, uh, and I've also got some like little blanking plates. They're about an inch in diameter. They are, and these are probably three quarters of an inch so we're going to put them out at 66 yards uh, so we've got six of them uh, and basically have a bit of fun between the two rifles right it's basically two shots from each rifle uh, you can see on top of the log I've just put out the really small nuts which are like say about three quarters of an inch so we're going to have one shot at each one, starting off with the HW100, four and a half mil dots of all over. We've got to obviously get the wind right though, it's a problem. Must be very close because it, it moved it. Definitely hit that one, and definitely was close to the other one. So, William being three quarters of an inch, I'd say that's definitely two dead bunnies. Right, on that two shots with the HW100, the first shot was about 10 mil underneath into the wood, and the second one hit the uh, screw. So now, time of the compatto. I've also found a shotgun cartridge down there, so I might have a go at that as well. Right, let's see how the compacto does. One for one. Just on the top, I can see the pellet, it's probably a pellet's width off it. Let's try the cartridge case. Got to get the wind perfect. <laughs> yep, and I'll have one more shot at that screw. Because like I say, I'm a pellet width off it, I can see it in the wood. There, there we go. <coughs> that compactor is just so accurate. The HW100 would have uh, hit, hit the screw if I uh, took another shot, but obviously I didn't. It was good to show that you know, they, they're accurate, and that's why you can, uh, in the right conditions, you can 
do what you do with them. Right, so we get his rabbit. Oh, dropped him. And you probably won't see him because uh, he's gone in that long grass. So that was 32 metres, so about 34, 35 yards. Bit of wind, and we're going to pick him up. Well, hopefully, when I get home, you'll be able to see uh, the rabbit I was shooting at uh, with my HW100. Uh, and I say it was 32. Uh, meters uh, so it's somewhere near this log pile so I'm just going to pause rotate the camera to the back camera uh, and then uh, have a look okay so this is the log pile I shot him from down there through where the caravans are just outside a little bit and he should be somewhere there we go oh yeah blimey look at the blood there be a nice headshot. Oh yeah, there he is, Mr. Rabbit. Another one the farmer will be happy with. Straight down. 36 meters for the HW100. To see if we can uh, locate that f f that feral pigeon. So now we know them as the townies because they're coming from the town to steal the uh, feed from the animals. Uh, didn't fall off the roof. Let me. So I'm just trying to get into a position where I'll be able to show you. This is only my my uh, phone, so I'll pause it and I'll rotate. All right. So I came over that other side of that roof. And I'm trying to zoom in. Don't know if you can see it. You should be able to see it. There, look. Dead on top of the roof. I ain't gonna better get that. So, subscribers, that's it for this episode of Vermin Hunters TV. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I've enjoyed it, and it's just uh, proved something what I already knew in my mind anyway. But on tape, uh, that the on tape sound old, don't I? On digital. That uh, the uh, Brocock Compato is just as accurate as the HW100, uh, and on this particular day, uh, it was actually a little bit more accurate. But like we already said, we can't say that the wind was exactly doing the same thing up between both rifles groups. You can see both can produce pellet on pellet groups, even at maximum ranges and beyond. Like I've said, this is 66 yards, so 11 yards further than the maximum range of field target shooting so they're both capable uh, of being used for you know if you want to use them for hunting for HFT if you want to do some uh, field target but you don't want to spend two thousand three thousand pound on some of the rigs what the guys do with the top shooters do uh, and they pay that much because they are top shooters but if you want to go out and you know probably get an half decent score if your range finding is good and you've got the right scope to do it on FT we're one of them uh, the uh, capable of doing it so, thanks for watching, please leave a comment, I know this is going to be a, quite a good topic for people and uh, there should be quite a bit of discussion about this, so, till soon, bye for now.